Excuse me? Watch out. Let them come. I'm happy that there was um, a guilty charge and that um, the RCMP is going to be held accountable. And I'm happy that I guess my husband didn't die in vain and that this hopefully something like this won't happen again. I'm satisfied that the verdict was uh, the first one was a guilty one with in terms of equipment because I felt all along that um, that if the RCMP members would have had the proper equipment that uh, that my husband would not have died and the father of my children would not have died so my hope really is that uh, the silver lining of all of this is that uh, RCMP members that are serving now and in the future will will be better equipped and uh, that they'll be safer when they're doing their job. It's not so much about uh, any kind of any kind of feeling of vindication. It's just that these issues, some of them needed to be addressed years ago, and uh, there are a lot of issues that need to be addressed now. So just fix it. Just do it. And could this help that happen now that the court has convicted them? I'm hoping it will. I'm hoping it will. Justice Jackson found that the RCMP, both for cadets and for members, has world-class uh, training programs, and that's the reason why the RCMP was found not guilty of counts two and three. Uh, on count one, there's still a sentencing matter, and so it's limited what can be said, but the RCMP will study the decision carefully, and uh, we expect to call evidence about all the efforts that the RCMP has made uh, to equip and train all of its members on the patrol carbine. We'll call that evidence at the sentencing hearing and uh, we hope that the trial judge will consider that relevant on the sentence.